In this video, we are going to guide you through the assembly of Snapmaker A350. Before you start, check the tools and accessories that will be used. If you are ready now, take out the screwdriver from the toolbox and pull out the bottom cap to use the H2.5 head for your assembly. 1. Prepare the M4 by 10 hex socket head screws. Turn the base plate upside down and install the four feet. 2. Prepare two linear modules as the Y axes. See if the sliders are aligning with each other. If not, you can move them to the same position as illustrated. Make sure the nuts on the platform face up. Attach the linear modules to the platform using eight M4 by eight screws and do not tighten the screws until step three. Three, attach the Y axes to the base plate and fix them with 16 M4 by eight screws. Then tighten the screws on the Y axis sliders through the holes on the base plate. When you have finished, check if the Y axes are properly mounted into the grooves on the base plate. Four, Install the touchscreen holder with two M4 by eight screws. Take note of its direction and position. Five, use eight M4 by eight screws to fix the Z-axis holders to the base plate. Now, take two linear modules as the Z-axis. Thread the connecting cable through the hole on the holders and attach the Z-axis to the Z-axis holder with six M4 by eight screws. Do not tighten the screws until step seven. Next, use four M4 by eight screws to fix the Z-axis onto the base plate. Still, do not tighten the screws now. Six, in the middle direction, manually move the platform to the position as illustrated. Then, move the Z-axis sliders to the lowest position that they can reach. Seven, attach the remaining linear module to the Z-axis sliders as the X-axis. At this time, Fasten all the screws that are attached to the Z-axis. Put your hands at each end of the X-axis and move it to the top. Eight, thread the two Y-axis connecting cables upward through the inner gap of the base plate. Connect them to the converter and connect the Y conversion cable to the other side of it. When connecting the cables, please make sure that the connector is inserted in the right direction, into the right socket, and fully into the socket. Improper connection may cause damage to the machine. Make sure the pattern on the converter faces up. Then fix the converter onto the base plate using four M4 by 30 screws. Nine, follow step eight to connect the Z-axis connecting cable, Z-conversion cable, and converter. Right now, thread the Y and Z-conversion cables downward through the gap on the base plate and draw them out of the hole on the Z-axis holder as instructed. To prevent the cables from intertwining and wearing, you can organize them using the provided cable tie. 10. Use four M4 by 30 screws to fix the controller onto the Z-axis as instructed, and connect the X, Y, and Z-axis cables to the controller according to the indications at the sockets. 11. Place the touchscreen and connect it to the controller. 12. Make sure the power switch is in off position. Then use the DC power cable to connect the machine and the power module. Finally, plug in the AC power cable and you have finished assembling the machine body. Now, you can assemble the different tool heads and platforms as needed. To use the 3D printer, fix the 3D printing module onto the X-axis slider with four M4 by eight screws and connect it to the controller using the tool head cable. Connect the filament holder tube and filament holder sheet with the M4 by 10 hex socket head screw. Then fix the filament holder onto the Z-axis using two M4 by 10 hex socket head screws. Next, fix the heated bed onto the platform with 22 hex flat head screws. And place the print sheet accurately, making it align perfectly with the heated bed. Finally, connect the heated bed to the controller. Attach the cable holder to the Z-axis using two M4 by eight screws and clip the tool head cable into place. To use the laser or CNC features, follow the same steps to install the tool heads. When attaching the laser platform, join the four pieces together as illustrated and fix them onto the platform using eight M4 by 10 hex socket head screws. For CNC, 
follow the instruction to install the MDF waste board onto the platform with 14 M4 by 10 hex socket head screws. Thank you for watching and enjoy your time.